Hey, this is Joe from Pellet Rose Die Sets, and today we're talking about our annular die set. This is a die set for making uh, ring shaped pellets. The pellets will come out kind of like this shape. This is one of the spaces from the set, um, and this is how we do it. So, we have like a, a standard set, so we have a base plate, slightly modified uh, with a hole uh, in the middle, part way through. We have a central pin that creates uh, and stops. Uh, powder going through that central portion, uh, a die sleeve, just like our standard die sets, a plunger, like our standard die set, but it's got a hole down the middle, which the pin goes into. Uh, we've got our two spacers, which you can, or you, you can use, you don't have to use them. Um, and then there's a, a normal ejector sleeve. And with our sets, we in include uh, an extra length uh, ejector sleeve and a pin ejector just in case your pin is stuck uh, after compacting your pellet you can use this for getting it out. Uh, so this is a little bit fiddly putting this together when there isn't a powder in there but we'll show you how it all fits together so you get a feeling for, for how it works. So you start with your, uh, your base plate, you put your pin into the middle. So the, all of our sets are uh, custom made, all of these uh, annular die sets are custom made so you specify the uh, the ID uh, of the ring and the OD of the ring that you're going to make. This is a 25 uh, millimeter and 15 millimeter set um, that we've made for a customer. And then after this, you put your die sleeve over the top. So that then makes your ring shape the cavity here. And that's where you're going to uh, put your powder and, uh, and where you're going to uh, push. So there's no, no load goes through this central pin. Uh, you can either load your powder directly into here or you can if you're using the spacers this is when you put in your first spacer um, what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll load this without uh, adding the spacers here um, so you put your powder in and then you put your plunger on top that fits over the pin like that and slides down you can see how that all goes together there slides through in and out just like that and then I'll show you this way so you can see it. So then you would uh, then you'd press with your specified force. So when you're when you're pressing here, um, the, all of the load is going through that outer portion, through that ring portion. None of it is going through that central load because there's no uh, the, your hydraulic press is not pushing on that central pin. Um, so that means that after you press, you've got a nice a nice ring in there, and all you need to do is get the ring out. So. Once you, once you turn it upside down like this, you will take off your, your base plate and your ejector, your central pin may come out with the base plate. Um, if you've got, a, um, if you've got a, a pellet in there, what's more likely is that the, uh, the friction from the pellet after it's been pressed is going to hold it in there. So you'd have your, your ring uh, in the top of there and you'd have your, your, uh, your pin uh, around your ring and what you do then is you take your your extra long ejector pin you put it underneath and you take your elongated uh, injection sleeve you can then press this all the way through and that gets rid of your central pin you can then remove that you can use the same pin if you want you can use the, the same eject sleeve if you want you can use this one and then when, once you press with this one, that's the thing that's going to release your pellet. So your pellet would just be sitting right on top of there and you can grab it out. So that's the annular die set from Pellet Press Die Sets. Um, I hope this gave you a little bit of an idea of how it all fits together. So the reason why uh, Pin Ejector has this step height on it there is because when you're releasing your central pin here, it pins inside your inside there you want to get rid of it you're going to push it out and you get rid of it there what you don't want to do is you don't want to damage the inside of your of your ring pellet that you've just made so what that step light does is just creates a very small gap between the inside uh, the moving part there and the uh, and your your freshly pressed pressed pellet so you don't have any of that interaction and it doesn't uh, yeah and it doesn't damage it so that's one of the features of this dissect.